Selamat siang semua teman-teman. Selamat siang. Terima kasih banyak untuk ikut acara hari ini. Nama saya Kai dari Toko Kripto. Hari ini saya ada satu tema adalah the center of the decentralized world. We've been hearing a lot about blockchain and decentralized for today, but I want to talk a bit more about this. Um, jadi for the next 15 minutes, saya akan share apa berarti untuk tema ini. Pertama, saya introduksi um, saya ya. Saya orang berasal Singapura. Sekarang tinggal di Jakarta untuk running toko kripto. Saya sudah selesai sekolah dari National University of Singapore dengan bachelor's with honors di mechanical engineering dengan minor, uh, minor in finance. During my days di Universitas, saya, um, I, I did a little startup uh, di FNB, di uh, online steamboat delivery. And this was way before GoFood was around. But that was then, yeah? Setelah selesai Universitas, saya ikut London-based multinational company Technip FNC sebagai management trainee untuk scholarship um, requirement and the important thing is di tahun 2015 I was first introduced to Ethereum uh, oleh close friend of mine dia adalah co-founder Digix Global which does asset backed tokens uh, and they have uh, DGX tokens where one DGX token adalah one gram of gold bisa check Toko Crypto Exchange kalau mau beli ya. Jadi, apa itu Toko Crypto? Toko Crypto adalah asset crypto exchange di Indonesia. Ada headquarters di Jakarta dan ada regional office di Bandung, Malang and of course, Jog Jakarta. Um, Toko Crypto focuses on making the exchange easy to use, yang muda, whereby the user onboarding process, including the know your customer process, is intuitive and user friendly, and it's easy for users to submit and obtain approval to begin their investment journey. Togo Crypto is simple to use as it is made by asset crypto investors and traders untuk asset crypto investors and traders. Toko Crypto ada instant deposits, instant purchases, and instant satisfaction. Juga, Toko Crypto has strict and stringent security protocols with separation of funds between customers' assets, use of trusted and proven crypto wallets, and employs strict anti-fraud procedures. Sekarang, ini tim Toko Crypto di Jakarta. Kami masih growing dan masih hiring. So, if you want, please feel free to drop, uh, you know, send your CVs to us. Jadi, the question is, right? Kenapa kami mau build Toko Crypto to what it is as one of the biggest asset crypto exchange di Indonesia juga kenapa Indonesia kami see an exchange as being the center and foundation of the entire blockchain world you can think of it as the genesis block the reason why we think so is because at the current state that we are in it is the only reason uh, it's the only way or the only platform whereby orang-orang bisa punya asset crypto, be it cryptocurrencies atau tokens, right? An exchange provides the bridge between the digital realm of cryptocurrencies and blockchain to the real world. Right? Because we can't, at, at the moment, we cannot buy food, we cannot buy milk powder, we cannot gain access to healthcare 
purely by relying on the blockchain. It's only when we exchange the tokens or the cryptocurrencies we have into fiat currency, we can subscribe to these services. Karenanya, Toko Crypto has been focused on the security of the exchange because any hacks or unscheduled downtimes will lead to massive loss of faith in cryptocurrencies. I'm pretty sure everyone has heard of the hacks that has happened, you know, Mt. Gox, CoinCheck, some more uh, Banyak Banyak hacks, yeah? And of course, all this will affect the prices of cryptocurrencies and tokens. We have pioneered the use of multi-signature wallets in exchanges in Indonesia, whereby not only one key, but two keys are required to unlock the crypto wallet, to gain access to the crypto wallet. Unscheduled downtime has been minimized to make sure that the sentiment of the crypto market, crypto market is kept strong and positive because we know how prices Haga Brapa of tokens and cryptocurrencies will affect the general sentiment, will affect the general feel of what people think of cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology, which is not true, which is not a true representation of what it is. Tokyo Crypto has also been very involved with the regulators, speaking very closely and working very closely with uh, regulators like Babepti in the drafting of the Bill of Regulations for asset crypto as a commodity. And I'm pretty sure this is a much welcome uh, introduction into the crypto space. More regulations means you know, greater trust and confidence by the people in the technology. Toko Crypto has also been actively seeking engagement with ICO projects. ICO projects like Hara Token that's going to present today, ICO projects like Swipe Token that's going to present today to help connect their ideas, to help connect um, their proposed networks into the real world. And Toko Crypto has come up with an extensive screening and analysis process for uh, on blockchain projects and has shared this criteria, same with Babepti, and we hope that it will help in the formulation of the regulations to come. Now, for a cryptocurrency exchange or for any exchange in particular, liquidity, liquidity is essential to allow for retail investors or future users of blockchain projects to e easily purchase or sell their tokens at a good price in order to participate in their selected networks and it's very important, liquidity. Basically, the rise and fall of the price of these tokens very much affect the trust and sentiment of these blockchain projects. And Toko Crypto has partnered with multiple established traders and market makers to ensure that liquidity is established for all coins listed in Toko Crypto. Because imagine one day if you wake up and you own a certain amount of coins of a certain project and you realize that, hey, I cannot use it anywhere. It's not utilizable at any way. I cannot exchange it into rupiah to buy you know, the things that I want and buy the things that I need. And that's why liquidity is very, very important in an exchange. Sekarang, Indonesia punya 264 juta jumlah uh, penduduk. However, a large, population, a large proportion of the population still has no access to the financial systems that we know nowadays. Many are unbanked, many don't have access to you know, the multiple financial instruments that we have, uh, that all of us have today. Asset crypto is important as it provides an alternative to cash and grants access to the unbank, unbanked. Toko Crypto's current presence is very much centered in Jakarta, with most of the transactions and activity happening there. And next to this line is places, cities like Surabaya, um, you know, Medan, Bandung, Makassar, Malang, Semarang, Yogyakarta, Depok. Palambang, 
and we are actively running events and campaigns and roadshows all around the places to help raise awareness of cryptocurrencies, to help raise adoption of blockchain technology. And we also have partnered up with multiple universities like Amicom, UMM, OPH, OE, Telcom, and many more to come. And we actively seek to, to partner up with these universities because you know, the youths today, all of you here in the audience here today, are the future of, cryptocurrency, of blockchain technology. Now, looking forward to the future of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, I mean, the whole of today we're talking about decentralizing. And of course, we in Toko Crypto recognize that there is a need to decentralize and exchange as well. And we are placing much emphasis and research into decentralizing Toko Crypto Exchange. Reason, the reason why we can't do it now, because of the limitations that blockchain te technology current, currently has. At the current state, we'll never be able to provide the same amount of liquidity um, to, for blockchain projects or for people to want to buy or to want to sell. The amount of time taken to perform a transaction will definitely not you know, be able to accommodate mass adoption. But of course, all this will not happen overnight. And the event today is but one of the giant steps and leaps that everyone has to take towards the possibility of reaching that end goal. Research has to be made, education has to be maintained, and I would say it's the responsibility of everyone present today who has taken an interest, who has taken the time to come and attend today's session, you know, to learn more and to help develop and grow the blockchain space and community. There are so many ways that all of us here can contribute to the space. It is not just about creating new ICOs, it's not just about raising funds, but it's also about educating ourselves of the technology and also the economics and social economics of this new and outstanding technology. Now, I've come to the end of my presentation, but firstly, I want to say mohon maaf, saya masih belajar bahasa Indonesia. I hope my bahasa Indonesia today is still uh, okay for, to understand. Thank you. Terima kasih banyak. So, yeah. And with that, yeah, I've come to the end of my sharing session. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys.